Hello and welcome to GeoBiz Studios in Virginia. Digital Globe has recently announced a partnership with King Abdul Aziz City for Science and Technology Cast and Taknia, both from Saudi Arabia, to develop a constellation of small imaging satellites. Today, we are joined by Taner Kodanas, Director and Industry Leadership Champion of Digital Globe, joining us from, uh, from Westminster, Colorado, to give more details about this particular joint venture. Taner, thank you so much for joining us on GeoBiz. It's nice having you on our show. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Okay, so we have, uh, this is much talked about deal uh, in the industry at the point uh, at this point. Uh, can you tell us more about this particular joint venture? Oh, absolutely. So Digital Globe has formalized an agreement, uh, as you mentioned, to form a new partnership uh, with Tacnia Space, uh, which is a satellite uh, technology investment firm, as well as uh, entering into certain agreements, as you mentioned, with uh, King Abdulaziz City for. Uh, science and Technology CAXT, and together we're going to build and launch uh, a constellation of six or more um, very highly capable sub-meter satellites uh, that are going to supplement the capabilities enjoyed by CAXT, which is a you know longtime direct access customer for whom Digital Globe is a uh, trusted partner. Uh, the new small set constellation uh, will leverage Digital Globe's already existing industry leading satellite constellation and enabling for improved resolution, accuracy, spectral diversity, and revisit for the kingdom, increasing you know, their confidence in decisions that save lives, resources, and time. Okay, uh, can you tell us more in terms of how this partnership is uh, being worked out? Who's doing what in this deal? Absolutely. So, Digital Globe, as I mentioned, will leverage its worldwide ground infrastructure. Our mission operating systems, our imagery production, and international sales and uh, distribution capability. Uh, that's a very important component as well. So, when we combine our worldview class satellites, uh, with this next generation constellation and the new small set constellation, you know, we're, we will have revisit uh, capability uh, that um, where we can monitor changing and volatile locations on Earth approximately 40 times per day. And therefore, we'll be identifying changes with the smaller satellites, zoom in to see critical details with our higher resolution satellites. No one else uh, is really going to be able to do this because no one else has the constellation of satellites and the resolution and the accuracy of Digital Globe. Uh, in addition to our ground infrastructure, uh, which can operate at scale uh, and then gives us the ability to perform, you know, coordinated tasking as a result. Would you be uh, happy to share uh, the investment model and the revenue sharing model in this uh, joint venture? So well, that, so sure. I, I mean, I'll share what I can at this point. So between Tacnia and CAX, both of them are responsible for the investment in the space segment. So building the satellites and, and launching them. Uh, Digital Globe uh, will be responsible, as I mentioned, uh, for the ground infrastructure. Uh, so to elaborate a little bit more, um, Digital Globe will be able to task and monetize about 50% of the Constellation's capacity uh, inside uh, our partner's communication cone. So uh, the area that they can um, control within their uh, area of interest, uh, we will have uh, the ability to uh, task and monetize 50% of that, uh, which is a high demand area for Digital Globe. We will also task and bring to market and monetize 100% of that small set constellation's capacity outside of the uh, kingdom's communication cone. Uh, so that's point number one. CAXT will fund 100% uh, of the small satellite constellation, the design, its manufacturer, uh, the building and launching, and they will receive as a result rights to 50% of the constellation capacity, as I mentioned, uh, within their region. And then finally, uh, Tacnia, 
uh, will task and monetize 50% of the constellation's capacity inside of CAC's uh, communication cone, and they will earn uh, a revenue share of the monetization of all the capacity generated by uh, Digital Globe, what we commercially develop. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Tanir, for that detail. Uh, one point I was uh, surprised when this deal was announced is that uh, uh, Digital Globe has has an exceptional technical capabilities in, in developing and operating and distributing and creating information products from very high resolution imagery uh, uh, for a long time now and a very established reputation uh, worldwide. And uh, uh, and why is that suddenly it got into a small sat business at this point? We believe that the small sat imagery alone is of limited value uh, for the exact points that you mentioned. However, uh, what's unique in this deal is the combination with our high resolution, high accuracy imagery that only Digital Globe can offer. So. We're in a very unique position to unlock the potential of this technology for our customers. So, you know, we're going to be able to address not only shortfalls of the standalone small satellite uh, industry, uh, but we're also going to be able to uh, marry our high resolution with their low resolution capability and provide much more highly accurate content uh, as a reference. So. Uh, it's the combination that is unique and compelling in this case. Okay, when you say you want to marry the high resolution imagery of Digital Globe and uh, the uh, small sat imagery from this, that coming out from this joint venture, would you like to cite an example or an application uh, use case? Sure. So, for example, you know, today we work with uh, an organization uh, out of Washington, D.C. called Wo World Resources Institute, and we enable their uh, Global Forest Watch program. And so we help monitor fires uh, in Indonesia, uh, specifically around uh, palm oil concession lands. Now, typically, uh, you know, we are receiving uh, indicators or triggers from other sources uh, that are letting us know that there are potential fires in which we are pointing then our high resolution uh, satellites to be able to capture exactly where that fire is taking place as well as being able to use our shortwave infrared capabilities to you know see through smoke and be able to exactly pinpoint where that fire is. Now with this newer constellation uh, and their lower resolution capabilities we are actually going to be able to sense where uh, changes is taking place much more rapidly. With, with us being able to revisit up to 40 times, we're going to be able to detect change much more rapidly. And once we identify that change, we can go through uh, what we call a tipping and queuing process whereby the small sats that constellation will be able to give us tips around where changes is occurring and then we'll be able to queue our high resolution satellites and be able to capture those fires in a more effective and efficient manner. Okay. Uh, we see a, a lot of interest in the industry uh, from in the small satellite business and we see many smaller companies uh, are able to get some joint venture capital uh, and able to launch uh, constellations of satellites and these are quite recognized uh, at this point for the low cost and high efficiency uh, aspects. In the present uh, scenario where uh, Digital Lobby is partnering with Casta and Tacnia, what are the cost implications from a user standpoint? You know, the opportunity uh, that we really feel um, is that we're going to capture, you know, new applications and, and, and new use cases. And there's going to be unique capabilities uh, that this is going to offer. You know, as, as we are growing consumers, uh, we are in need of more producers, right? whether they are data providers, uh, whether they're content layer creators, or even application providers, as I said. So we can expect more and more data partners and, and content creators to augment our ecosystem. So we see a constant appetite for these new data streams and these new data sets. And so as we understand that the demand will shape 
you know, these partnership relationships and these ecosystems, we fully expect uh, to be able to achieve uh, more significant growth uh, by entering into these types of partner agreements uh, and, you know, work with other uh, organizations such as Orbital Insights and Ecopia, uh, Precision Hawk and Harris. We believe that there's a tremendous opportunity to expand our third party content providers that I mentioned previously in order to achieve those outcomes. Okay, Tanir, um, one aspect uh, I wanted to touch base with you is uh, uh, how does this unique capability uh, that Digital Globe is bringing to small sat business, uh, positioning it in, in the very expanding uh, small sat industry? Um, so, I mean, this is clearly a disruptive model. Uh, that is leveraging Digital Globe's industry-leading high-resolution satellites uh, and our ground infrastructure, right? And so uh, combining that with a new small sat constellation that will be built and funded by our longstanding partners, you know, in Saudi Arabia, uh, partnerships like this, I think, extend our global leadership position and enhance our ability to innovate. So. Uh, we believe that, you know, this is a validation of our industry leadership position and our technological leadership. And so the model of this partnership, I think, confirms the value uh, of our infrastructure and our proven tested value uh, around security, scalability, uh, reliability, as well as our expertise. So we really believe that this is a, a model uh, that is going to lead the rest of the industry, and I'm sure there's going to be more examples of it uh, in the future. Okay, that's fantastic to know. And uh, uh, and uh, one more aspect uh, uh, at this point I wanted to touch base is this: this proposed constellation is expected to be complementary to the next in line satellites of uh, a Digital Globe, Worldview Four, and and the forthcoming uh, uh, satellites as well. Would you like to comment on this? Um, all I can say at this point is, you know, Digital Globe will optimize orbits uh, and tasking of the new constellation with the rest of our constellation to deliver uh, superior performance uh, with this low capacity or low capital intensity um, uh, setup. So the, um, in other words, the uh, smaller uh, SAT constellation uh, is going to give us more capability uh, and more uh, opportunity uh, to optimize our existing assets uh, so that we can uh, meet our customers' demands uh, more effectively. Uh, we'll, we'll be sharing uh, more of that capability uh, down the road, but uh, at this point, this is all I can say about that. Okay, will this also bring about a change in the strategy of uh, the future satellites from Digital Globe? Well, we already have an existing uh, strategic uh, line of sight uh, to the next generation uh, constellations, and, and, and this is in line uh, with that strategy. So I, I don't think that this is changing it. This is actually part of the strategy that we've already laid out for our future. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Tanir, for giving us more details about uh, uh, this particular deal. I'm sure this is some. This will augur something new in the industry and lead to more uh, creating value out of remote sensing imagery for everyone. Absolutely. Well, thank you, and uh, we're very much excited as well. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Yeah.